In Washington, Democrats look to regroup after watching a bill that would protect abortion rights nationwide go down to defeat in the Senate. That bill was doomed from the start, but Democrats held a vote anyway with their eyes on November. NBC's Chris Pallone joins us now live from Washington to explain what's next. Chris, good morning to you. Yeah, hey there, Dave. Good morning to you. With the Supreme Court potentially on the verge of striking down Roe versus Wade, congressional Democrats want to keep the issue at the top of American voters' minds all the way until the midterm elections. In Washington, Supreme Court justices meet today in person for the first time since that stunning draft opinion leak, which showed the court is likely on the verge of striking down Roe versus Wade. The yeas are 49, the nays are 51. Three-fifths of the senators duly chosen and sworn not having voted in the affirmative. The motion is not agreed to. A Democrat-backed bill to keep abortion legal nationwide failed in the Senate Wednesday, with West Virginia's Joe Manchin joining all 50 Republicans in opposition. Democrats' radical bill is ex as extreme as extreme gets. But with Americans' right to abortion in serious doubt, Democrats see an issue which could motivate their voters to go to the polls this November. This vote clearly suggests that the Senate is not where the majority of Americans are on this issue. In fact, a new poll shows a majority of Americans do support abortion remaining legal with no or some limitations. If they want to run on that issue, I think that begins to make people more aware of just how extreme their position is, uh, and it will not help them on election day. The draft opinion leak has set off protests across the country. A small group of peaceful demonstrators once again gathered outside Justice Brett Kavanaugh's home Wednesday. This is what Americans are going to have to decide this fall. Do you want to have a woman make this decision with her doctor, or do you want to have the politicians in Washington make this decision? The final Supreme Court decision is expected late next month. And abortion rights supporters say there will be a large rally and march here in Washington on Saturday. It will go from the Washington Monument to the Supreme Court building. They also say there will be rallies in many cities around the country on that day. Live in Washington, I'm Chris Pallone. Dave, let's go back to you. Chris, question for you. Is this the last time we see members of Congress try to codify the Roe protections in federal law? It's an interesting question. There are some Republicans who support abortion rights like Susan Collins of Maine and Lisa Murkowski of Alaska who have been working on their own bills that would be much more limited in scope than the ones that the Democrats were trying to put forward yesterday. They've been working across the aisle with some Democrats like Tim Kaine of Virginia on a much more limited bill. But will those bills ever get anywhere, anywhere or actually come to a vote? That remains to be seen at this point, Dave. Okay, Chris Pallone with the latest live from Washington. Thank you.